Head of the Resistance Front, Mohammed al Zahid, said there is no fight in the valley and no one has entered the province. It comes after the Taliban claimed that their forces had entered Panjshir from several directions without facing any resistance. Russian envoy to Kabul, Dmitry Zernov, said the Taliban can take over Panjshir within hours, but say they don't want to proceed to avoid bloodshed. Zernov said that ISIS attack at the Kabul airport has challenged the Taliban, not the United States. Now, for more on this, we have Sumera Khan, our correspondent in Kabul right now. Sumera, tell us now, the U.S. President Joe Biden has warned of another terrorist attack on the Kabul airport. What preventive measures have the U.S. forces and the Taliban taken in and around the airport to avoid the attack? Uh, unfortunately, uh, the U.S. administration is uh, issuing the, uh, although they are issuing all the threat alerts and they are trying to keep people away from the airport, but unfortunately, people, uh, the, the, the number uh, of people who, who are trying to get into the airport is still rising. And this is the main concern right now for both parties, Taliban and the U.S. administration and the, the, the leftover of U.S. troops over there uh, that we are expecting that they are leaving the uh, uh, Hamid Karzai International airport tonight because for tonight we have this information that all the troops want to leave by tonight so uh, and it's the it's the 29th august right now so they, they are, there are obviously certain uh, certain issues that taliban security forces they have deployed already the specialized force of al fateh and badri 313 um, to in the, in, in the entire outskirts of airport but still the concern is that people are not ready to listen to the threat alerts and they are they they they, they keep coming to the airport and uh, majority of them they are even staying there for night they are not listening to the instructions issued by the Taliban and security forces over there and that that was the reason one of the Talib scout uh, spoke to me he said and now if we are going to uh, now if we are uh, if we if we deal with them with with the strict measures and there there will be another wave of propaganda by the Western media and media of Afghanistan against us that we are not treating people well so this is unfortunate scene right now that people are not ready to listen and leave. Now, Smera also tell us President Biden has vowed to hunt down the perpetrators of the Kabul airport attack and said the strike was not the last. Do you think the Taliban support such strikes in Afghanistan, even against the ISIS? I think right now I'm just trying to get into contact with the, the spokesperson uh, Zabihullah Mujahid as soon as possible and uh, he I, I, we received a message from him as well and and his team as well that uh, they are going to issue a statement on this because it, it is a dire situation where US is issuing statement another uh, one after another that this is not the last uh, uh, airstrike over the horizon airstrike on the on the alleged um, Daesh hideouts in the in the different provinces of Afghanistan but yet uh, we are waiting for the confirmation from the Talib uh, corridors over this that either they uh, they they acknowledge all these airstrikes they are supporting them or they have some other things they they, they have some other uh, uh, they, they have some other policy statement on this but as of now uh, the Talib quarters are right now, they are keeping complete mum on the situation. And this tells us uh, a clear, uh, it can be a clear message that it might be in collaboration or after the approval of Taliban. But as of now, uh, we, we, uh, um, I, uh, based on my personal opinion, I cannot commit one thing uh, so strongly that yes, Taliban are uh, in, co in coordination with the US troops to conduct these over the horizon airstrikes on Daesh hideouts in Afghanistan. Right, Samara, also tell us officials said U.S. forces are in the final phase of leaving Kabul and just over a thousand civilians at the airport remain to be flown out before the troops withdraw. So, Samara, tell us, will the U.S. be able to complete its evacuation operation today? Uh, I think uh, those who are right now present uh, within the compound of uh, airport, uh, they are the responsibility of uh, U.S. troops and uh, the troops have also, they in, by be, being in coordination with the Talib scouts, we, we got this information early in the morning that if they, they are trying hard to transport these thousand people to Doha, Qatar, to the al Udaid uh, military airbase or the other base of, uh, and they can, they can, they can seek uh, uh, cooperation from any other base, including 
including Tajikistan and Pakistan as well. But if they are unable to do so, they are unfortunately going to leave those civilians in, within the compound of uh, the Kabul International Airport because they are right now trying to gather all their stuff. They 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 have to they have to manage many things prior their evacuation from the uh, from the said airport. And the other thing which is uh, which is very important for the U.S. troops right now that they have they they have their camp office of U.S. Embassy as well on the airport. So these things are right now kind of hodgepodge for them. And first of all, their the topmost priority is not uh, evacuating those civilians, those th those, th those thousand civilians waiting for the flights over there. But their topmost priority is to secure all the offices, either to destroy the sensitive and classified documents uh, piles, and uh, also they are also looking uh, trying to uh, uh, to assess the risk factor. Once they leave this place, they are not going to be able to visit it, visit uh, the premises again. So they are right now handling all their classified and sensitive stuff. This is why they are uh, there are controlled blasts. They are burning up the stuffs and uh, things like that are going on. But uh, evacuating the civilians, remaining civilians in airport is obviously not their priority. Right, Sumera also updated us on the resistance forces who have rejected Taliban's claim that they have entered the Panjshir Valley. And also, what is the latest situation there? The latest in the Panjshir Valley is, uh, it, it, it's very simple right now. Taliban are not entering the valley. They are just trying to occupy the valley from outskirts. They they, they have besieged the valley and I've uh, got this confirmation from uh, from residents of the valley as well that uh, residents are right now, they are getting, uh, they, they, they they literally are uh, fed up with the, with this with this besiege and they, they are feeling them, they, they are taking themselves as hostage by Taliban, but it's a war tactic they want the valley to surrender without any bloodshed. Molana Turabi from the six member delegation from Taliban he is there at Jabal Siraj and the 12 member delegation led by Basir Salangai from the from the Panjshiris. They are still in contact. They are trying to resume the last phase of dialogue uh, according to the information from the sources, uh, well placed sources they are trying to work out a truce but there are some unseen issues uh, on the division of governorships of the provinces. Important in key provinces and key ministries in the federation. So by tonight or by tomorrow, there will be a result from the last round of the negotiations probably.